Okay, so, all right, we see that the flag here, the shield, the colors for the flag, the bars, the stripes, all of this uh, is is got a, a straight line of sight to Orion. And then we see this connection that we had with Orion begins to point us to these three dog stars. And then, lo and behold, on some archaeological artifact that was discovered in ancient Iraq, um, we have the depiction of this ancient god, um, Nergal, connected to the Danites, who's connected to Samson. We have him connected to these three dogs. Now, what you want to do is you want to remember what the constellation of Orion is about. Orion's about this hunter. Okay, the dogs accompany the hunter. And that's exactly what we're going to see Samson now begin to manifest himself as in this biblical symbolic character. It's just another fulfillment of what the Orion character is trying to fulfill itself. This end times judge. And remember that at least scripturally the Bible talks about the Danites in two places. Jacob's dying blessing in Genesis and then in Deuteronomy where Moses is given a dying blessing also, it both gives us that Dan is the end times judge. Well, isn't that kind of interesting? Because with all of the information that we're doing connecting Dan to being a, a mighty and a strong man, having long hair, we saw it where he went into the inner earth and judges that this God prepared a place for, for Samson. Okay, for in other words, this mighty man or this mighty race, these mighty people, these descendants of the sons of God of Genesis 6, they go into the inner earth. And we look at it, and, and Amos and Hosea talks about them going into the inner earth also. So Samson now being this connection with Orion, as we've seen with loosing of the bands of Orion, is really about bringing about these judges think about the way that the aliens are being depicted what are they what are they doing think about what they're saying and what they're doing they're talking about coming and removing the governments of the world they're talking about the governments of the world and the system is faulty and they're going to correct it what does that mean it's judgment the aliens are fulfilling the same spiritual niche that the danites are they're coming to judge the world. Does not do people not see that? Think about what the you know, the Bible leads us to believe that Babylon, you know, is gonna fall, this wickedness, and then here we have these aliens that are coming to do what? To remove the governments of the world. Uh Babylon. The aliens are wanting you to believe, and the Illuminati is purposely exposing itself for this purpose. They want you to see what they've been doing. They want you to believe that they are wicked so that when these ones come after them and remove them, you're going to think they're automatically good by default because they did what? They played the good guy and they removed the bully off the playground. And, and then everybody's going to think, oh, well, these guys must be swell. You know, they must be great because they've come and fixed the problem for us. And then, oh, we're so scared, you know, crapless because of, of radiation from what happened in Fukushima, which is all a part of design, that when these meteoroidal, asteroidal, fake impacts impact the world, and then everybody's already in their mind knows about dangers of radi radiation. I mean, we have been educated about how dangerous radiation is. Well, that's gonna be one of the first things that the aliens, the supposed enlightened ones that we really know are these spiritual deceivers from Genesis 6, that's what they're gonna say they're gonna have the power to do. And that's going to be one of the enticements. It's going to be one of the, the things that's going to make them automatically seem like, oh, yeah, they're the way. Let's welcome them in. Let's welcome them in. So after this disaster and we have these nuclear fallouts and we're already aware of the nuclear fallouts and these guys are here, they're saying they're going to remove these evil oppressors and we're also aware of the Illuminati and what they've done, you better believe there's going to be a lot of people that are already down with it. Plus, they're promising to make everybody gods. Come on, man. Think about it. And then think about the religion of the Danites. And of course, we know that the Danites were, were there. They were idol church. They were idol worshipers and they were connected to seeing themselves as gods from those ancient, ancient mystery religions.